now that we have our uh, model modeled uh, we have to UV unwrap it I'm going to show you one uh, object and then just apply this to all of them so uh, put an unwrap UVW um, modifier and then just select polygons and go to the front view for example and then just select everything that you see it's not going to select the back side because you have here ignore back facing selected and then just uh, click here on the projection on planar map and if the this uh, yellow line is not uh, aligned with your model just try any other uh, axis and then again uh, click on planar map so you go out and then just open uh, open UV editor and as you can see we have our front face projected and we are going to do the same with the back side BAM and now just I'm going to select both of them as you can see I cannot select until I go out of the projection so make sure you go out of the projection and then just I select both of them and there go here on the really shape elements click and keep pressing until this pops up and then just select it and I normally just use face angles I can increase to 400 maybe 1 and start to relax and sometimes this happens if this happens it means um, we have to do edge angles first and then just select face angles and it's going to uh, align it then stop relaxing okay now that we have our um, models relaxed I use I'm using a uh, text tool uh, plugin to align it to one axis and I'm just selecting one uh, edge and then just click on align and it's going to align and if you want to align the whole um, object just click on the select by element and vertex and here on the snap and then just let it snap to the exactly the same shape that you have maybe just pack custom resize it a little bit because we're going to put everything in one map so that's pretty much it if you want to apply different uh, texture on each side for example some blood spatter uh, that are different on one side and on the other then it is wise to you uh, leave this uh, as you can see here but I uh, won't do this so I'm just going to overlap it so I have more space for other parts now that we have our uh, part unwrapped we just have to check it uh, if it's okay so press M on the keyboard go to one of the default materials and then just click here on when it says none by the diffuse and you can select the checker and apply some additional tilings and then just go to parent and click show shaded material in viewport and assign material to selection if the checkers are still too large just apply more of them sometimes it's wise to use some additional uh, checkerboards uh, I have one uh, as a bitmap you can see it also has this uh, circular 
shapes which is really great because only with quads you sometimes uh, don't get the, distor the distortion seen uh, as good as, as you can see here so the checker uh, pattern works okay but sometimes it's wise to use something uh, more detailed so let me do another one this circular one for example uh, I'm just going to go really quick did show everything uh, almost everything above so sometimes uh, the front view just selects too many polygons so you have to uh, unselect it by hand and then again planar and then on the other side the same thing and what I want to show you here is uh, you get sometimes when you model your model like I did here uh, and, you do and you do some deformations uh, with transpose tools uh, sometimes it gets messed up even though you try to relax uh, the parts so let me just show you I open the UV editor turn off checker maps so we can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to move this part away and select everything that was uh, left behind and again projection planar map so we get uh, this uh, one object let me move this to the side and now I just normally uh, go out of the projection and then select an edge and click here on loop UV and then just control B on the keyboard to break it and now I'm just going to again select everything and I'm going to straighten selection and back to this and relax by face angles and, and it looks like it's doing okay, it's doing perfectly what I want and let's just relax these other two parts although it's not really necessary but you never know so just uh, apply them into the viewport and I'm going to close it down for now and maybe you can already see the issue this is not really the same as here and it's going to make a mess and let me just show you I'm just going to reapply in the checker map and as you can see here as I said before here are the checkers really uh, square and here are really uh, how should I stretched and if I apply my custom uh, checker map as you can see this circular is now really obvious that it's, it's stretched so when this happens, although you s you relaxed your uh, your UVs, uh, you have to do something else. I'm just going to collapse too, so I don't lose the work that I've already done. You have to go to utilities and click on uh, reset X form and click on uh, reset selected. Then go here back to the modifiers, and you have X form modifier uh, applied to the model and then just collapse to and then again unwrap UV open UV and just select this one because this one is uh, causing problems and as you can see uh, when we relax by face angles uh, we get a more appropriate look of this uh, of, the, of this part so as you can see here the checkers are and the circles are as they should be so this was a really uh, quick fix of such problem now that we have all our parts uh, UV unwrapped we have to attach them together so just select one and then click here on attach list and select everything and attach 
Then again apply an unwrap UV modifier, open UV editor and let me just hide checker marks and now just select all of them and just pack custom which means it's all it's going to pack everything in one uh, square and now it's all about uh, repositioning uh, repositioning uh, every single part so you uh, get the most out of the area that you have on your disposal so uh, I went ahead and uh, just repositioned everything uh, so when we are uh, done with that just close it up and right click on unwrap UV modifier and collapse to this means it's going to be embedded in all of the uh, separate parts and if you like you can go down to element and then just click on the separate uh, uh, part and detach it and name it and go on with the rest of the parts so then just select everything and group it and name it and then just you can uh, export it export uh, export selected and then just uh, select the folder you want to export it to and then just uh, save it as export it as obj uh, battlestick and then just make sure you have these parts ticked on and these parts not and then just export it and you shouldn't have any warnings so that's pretty much it and let's get to texturing part <laughs>